Hi friends, it's Shauna from with love from vinyl .etsy .com. I also have a shop at lovelyrusticweddings.com. I make and sell glitter tumblers. I also offer ready to use clear water slide decals as well as glitter. Um, I am, it's been a minute since I've done a video, so I apologize for that. I am going to try to get better. It's been an interesting 2020, right? I think we can all agree to that. So today I'm adding another layer of glitter to this rainbow tumbler. And the colors we're going to use, I've got across the back here, but I'll save them and I will also link them in the comments. I do the Mod Podge method. I use just regular old matte Mod Podge. And I've already, by the time we get to this point, I have prepped the tumbler. I spray painted it white. I have done one layer of glitter, I dry brushed that, and now we're adding the next layer of glitter. So you'll see in my brush, I might get a little bit of glitter combined into the Mod Podge, um, but most of it comes off when I dry brush it. And I use a hard bristle brush to dry brush the glitter off. I, I mean, I do it quite rigorously just to make sure it all comes off so I don't end up with a mess. You can also seal your glitters if you don't want them to move, there's a chunk. Um, that works perfect too. I don't have a preference as far as sealers go. I know some people have a preference one way or the other. I don't use them very often. I want to say I, when I do, it's um, Rust-Oleum clear coat, spray paint. Okay, so anyways, we've got the Mod Podge on. We're getting all of the bumps and ridges out so the glitter is are nice and smooth. And then we will start to put the glitter on. So I'll move this aside. Excuse my reach. And normally I use paper plates. First let me get this out of the way so we don't stick in the Mod Podge. Alright, normally I use paper plates but we've got so many glitters going on that we're just going to use... Um, it's not even paper paper, it's cardstock, so it's a little bit sturdier. Alright, so the first glitter we're going to put on is Sassy Sunshine. It's the yellow at the bottom, and I'm going to try to do this without being in the way. So I keep the cup flat to get the edge to start with once I get a very thin layer at the bottom, because we're doing a lot of colors. Once I get that thin edge at the bottom, I'll tilt up and just a little bit sprinkle down. Now it'll start the transition into the next color. There we go. You have to tilt it up and get a little bit of a sprinkle down so you don't end up with a harsh line. Okay. I'm going to dust that off. A little bit more here. The next color I'm going to use is not listed in my shop. It's uh, just a combination of the yellow the sassy sunshine with a little bit of pumpkin patch and that helps create the transition so we just sprinkle that on and it does look like it's mixing into the yellow but the Mod Podge is already covered so the parts where it's going to be in the yellow those are going to come off when we dry brush so you don't have to worry about that at all okay notice it's sprinkling down we want that Give it a little tap. See how a lot of it already came off right in here. Still yellow. A little bit of sprinkle down here. Solid um, color mix there. Okay. Set that aside. Now we're going to do pumpkin patch. Which is just a yellow. I'm sorry. Huh? An orange. When I'm um, doing my ombres and I start sprinkling... I'm actually aiming for where that solid color is and I'm tilting the cup and I've got the glitters a little ways away so it sprinkles down and creates that pretty transition. And sometimes I have to remind myself, stop getting so close. I know it's tedious. Just take your time. 
The first layer might not be perfect and that's okay. The next layer is going to help it even out all of the color transitions. You'll know where to go more or less of with the different colored bands. Alright, we're going to set that one aside. Now we're going to move on to... I'm not using this one. We're going to move on to Flirty Fun, which is that bright pink. Same thing, tilt the cup. Aim for where that solid... Nope, aim, yeah, aim for where the solid orange is, where the solid pumpkin patch is. Sprinkle it down, let it fall. Until you meet around to the other side. Okay. Now I have, this is what I think it is. Yep. That's a combination of, this one is just a little bit of a mix of flirty fun and fab fuchsia, which is going to be the next color. Sprinkle and turn. Okay. And look, I can put this one right back in. How's that for convenient? Flip that over and reuse the paper. Now we're going to go into Fab Fuchsia, which is a little bit darker of a pink. Like I said, I'm going to have all the glitters listed in the details section when I list the video so you don't have to worry too much if you miss one. And you can do it with any combination of colors. I actually did the rainbow because the first time I made this cup was for my grandma. So we did a rainbow um, because of the way our family is. Um, we all, it's kind of like different teams. So each of her daughters picked a color. Beauty Berry is the next color, it's a purple. Um, each of her daughters picked a color to represent their family. So instead of picking a color for the cup, I cheated and just did a rainbow to represent all of the family. And then we put a picture of her six daughters on it. So that was why I did the rainbow originally. I'm trying to make sure everybody was included. Okay. Sprinkle down is done. Now I took a little bit of Beauty Berry and I mixed it with Perfect Paradise to create the transition from blue into purple, purple into blue. The other thing I did to, um, I didn't want to mix in any metallic colors with this. I wanted to keep it all iridescent colors. I feel like that helps with the transitioning. Okay. See so why I didn't use paper plates? My husband would have killed me. We'd have been doing dishes for dinner. My kids eat on paper plates because um, there's so many of them. Now we're going to do Perfect Paradise. And we're almost done. Same thing, just sprinkle, tilt, tilt the cup, sprinkle, aim for the solid area, and let it fall down. Some of it will look like it's mixed. That's okay because it'll brush off. Now we're going to do Calm Coast, just a little bit because we're almost done. And it's Calm Coast is just a little bit lighter. Again, just helps with the transitioning. And then make it mint. We're going to see if we can fit, make it mint in one more color on here. We'll see. I'm going to cheat before I do the next color because my Mod Podge is drying out a little bit. I 
don't like that. See, that's, I take too long. Okay, so I'm going to grab the next paper and just go around very lightly at the top there. Oh, I'm sorry. You weren't on camera. And I wanted to do it before I did the next color so that I could pull in. There's no line, so I'll pull in before the ombre. And then you don't have a line of where the Mod Podge dried. Okay. So we did Make It Mint. Now we're doing... It's very, very, very similar to Make It Mint. I just lightened it up a lot, and that's what we're going to end with. So the same thing. But I don't have to be careful about sprinkling down because that is the end okay oh, let me make sure I did it all the way around I surely did okay so because that's it the cup is all set we are now gonna pull the tape you pull the tape on the last layer of glitter when it's still wet and I have also started Padding a little bit because I've noticed it helps. Oh, I was stuck. It helps clean up my edges. So I just take my finger and pat all the way around it, and it keeps my edges from being pokey, less sanding later. That's all. Oh, so if you made it all the way through the video, thank you so much for watching. I will list this one, and like I said, all of the glitters will be in the description section. When it's done drying, we'll dry brush it to get any loose glitters off, or you can seal it. You don't have to dry brush it, your choice, but you definitely want to do one or the other before you epoxy it so that that beautiful ombre does not get lost in the um, glitters moving. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys, so much for watching.